<laughs> and I've been through the desert on a donkey that can talk. It felt good to be out of Dulab. Diddle, diddle, diddle. In the desert. You can't remember Shrek's name, but it feels to be good out of the rain. La 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 And I've been through the desert on a donkey that can talk. It felt good to be out of Duloc. In Duloc, you'll always remember his name. His name is Shrek and he rides around like a plane ago. So that's what I was thinking for the next production. Uh, production. Um, thanks, Chives. Uh, <clears throat> what do you think? Something like that? Uh, is it too contemporary for the audience? Is it might be too indie? A little bit too, yeah, not mainstream enough. Yeah, it's yeah, it's no Smash Mouth. Hey guys, uh, we have been so nice to grace you with our presence today uh, you should feel lucky you should feel privileged that we even take the time out of our day to talk to you about shrek and uh, i think we've been talking a little too much about shrek uh, we haven't talked a lot about lord farquaad mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but before we get into that how was your weekend man it was good man it was good i I had to deal with a whole bunch of you know. Uh, well, you're a powerful man. I'm sure you dealt with dude, it just fine. There's invoices assigned. There's autographs assigned. There's checks to send out. And sometimes I get lost and my, my gets stuck in the mire. So mm -hmm. I'm glad that we're taking this time to decompress, get together, really shuffle around some ideas. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been uh, quite a while. You're probably wondering where we were. Um, we've been signing autographs. A lot of autographs. Every day. Because we had the pleasure of putting on a performance um, down here in Lehigh, Utah at Arbington, uh, Abington, Abington Manor, Manor, Lehigh, Utah. Um, some say that that is the Broadway of Utah. Um, at least northern Utah County. Yeah. And other people say hearing. Lehigh is the Big Apple of Utah. Right. Uh, so it, if you're not familiar with that, just think Broadway, think big lights, big flashing mm -hmm. lights. Because it is across the street from the Scores Sports Bar. They're, they're in right. town. Right. So there's plenty of traffic coming through there. Um, the fine lady there reached out to us and said, hey, the holidays are here. Why don't you two fine Swamp Boys come down and put on a production? What was that production? Let's tell them. Shrek the Halls. And we put our own spin on it. Uh, so if you've seen Shrek the Halls, which anyone watching this should have seen it, because that was your homework uh, last time we talked, um, you know what the movie's about. But you haven't seen our play, unless you were at Abington Manor. And a lot of you might have been, because it was a sold-out production. Yeah, a lot of people rolling rolling in and out. A lot of a lot of pre-sale. Uh, pre sales pre -sale. It was pretty much pre-sold out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, it was, it, it was like Broadway, but there were like guests were staying there, so it's kind of like a hotel uh, for guests. So maybe more like a Vegas production. Yeah, so maybe Isn't more like right? Vegas. Um, but yeah, people were staying there. All the guests came down into the lobby. They, they were they having, rolled on in. They hobbled on in. Right. They were having hors d'oeuvres. They're having pudding, uh, pudding all rice sorts of pudding, pudding, prune mm -hmm. pudding, warm milk. Warm Which milk. I assumed w in honor of, you know, Puss in Boots. Yep. They had feeding tubes, uh, all sorts of stuff. Um, there was in, a lot of fresh air in there. Right. In the way of fresh oxygen. Right. In honor of our production. Um, we nailed it. Uh, it. Everything went great. We, we killed it, I'd say. We got a pretty sizable upfront uh, advance for the production of this play. Um, unfortunately, $3,000, we spent it on something else that we can get to in a minute. We have an update on a very special friend that's going to be coming to the show very soon that we've missed out on a few times. Yeah. So that's a story for a different time, but we had to come up with a little bit more scratch on our end. We knew it was worth the investments. We knew it was worth 
reallocating assets and uh, you know getting bank loans house liens all of this was was all part of the plan so um to free up a little bit of cash and room in my kitchen i decided to take all of the cabinet faces and heads and knobs and even the shelves out of the actual physical cabinets um not only did we want a more open open concept feng shui uh i don't spiritual sort of look but Mm -hmm. To gather up a little bit more scratch, a little bit more dough, uh, scrape it all the together. production yeah. was worth it, and I knew that that investment would pay for itself probably, um, avenge sevenfold. Yeah, uh, couch cushions off the sofas, uh, doorknobs, uh, shower curtains are gone. We sold it all, everything in his home. Mm-hmm. Um, I couldn't sell anything in my home. Uh, As you know, I've been sleeping in the studio. I am now moved back in with Sweet Sweet Laura. Uh, I have been taking on more of a power role here since the production, since the Shrek the Hollow that we did. Mm -hmm. I think that helped bring out the alpha in me, the wolf, the leader of the wolf pack, Uh, not a beta, an alpha. Um, And that really turned Laura on. So she came home, I moved home. Um, I gave her some 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 good talking tos. Yep, she wouldn't let me sell anything. So we, you know, uh, Gordo and Fiona and Fiona aren't gonna have any pillows or sheets for a while. But we figured this production would jet our career into something more grand yeah. and spectacular. And Gordo, he made a bit of a fit about it. He's like, "Dad, this is my only pillow. You're taking away my pillow. I've had this since I was a baby." I said, son, when we're through with this, you could afford three more pillows. Easy. Mm-hmm. You're going to triple your, right. your, 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 pillow, your pillow portfolio overnight. Right. And what he can afford, though, is new eyes. Mm-hmm. He is still blind. Um, so he's still dealing with that, in case you guys were wondering. I said, Gordo, you can't see it. Pretend it's there. Right. Use your imagination. And that's what we're doing here today, is using our imagination. So... I guess let's let's hop right in. We got a we got a sheet filled with exciting things for you today, uh, and a lot of them are going to be more based around our favorite character and, and something we didn't see before. Yeah, uh, I tell you, every time we watch this, you discover something new, a different, deeper layer, and this was at its core. It's been there the whole time. We'll get into that. We actually decided today to shake things up, make it a little bit less formulaic. We're, we're taking more of a, of a business sort of approach with this. Mm-hmm. So let's get into a little bit of business first. We normally give you folks some ideas and tips to keep your home, to keep your body, your mind clear and clean. Mm-hmm. Tidy time. Tidy time. We have changed the name. I felt it was dishonest because we are no longer cleaning our own homes. That's what we have chives for. He goes and does a 12 hour shift at Julian's household. And then the remaining 12 in the day, he comes to my household. Every other weekend, he's here in the studio, 24 seven, keeping things going. Mm -hmm. So you might see chives in and out. Um, We ask a lot of him. Yeah, he's a lot like uh, Al from from Batman. He kind of, we call him up, hey man, hey Chives, can you go get a gallon of milk? Uh, can you clean my room? Uh, Chives is really, 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 really fun. And uh, we're glad we got him. Now that we're in more powerful positions, we were able to afford ourselves a butler. Mm -hmm. Uh, Not just the power, but also selling a lot of Jake's things in his home. But um, that being said, uh, you'll see Chives come in and out. Don't pay attention to him. Just keep your eyes on us. Uh, he'll be shuffling in and out. He'll be helping us with uh, props. Like, uh, look at this. Watch. Look at this. Hey, Chives. You get that? Thanks, buddy. Okay. Take forever next time, man. Yeah, I mean, uh, do it quicker next time. God. Holy. We're going to give you tips on how to keep your butler in line, uh, how to make sure your butler is uh, just more physical with things around the home, more physical with you if you want them to be, or more uh, beta. And butlers are betas. Um, so they this would is, have to be. Yeah. It starts with a B. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, Beta Butler. Beta uh, Cock, Little Bitch Boy. Little Bitch Boy. Uh, Baby Wolf, Wounded Wolf. Not a leader of the pack. Pussy so. Hands. Uh, this is for all alphas. If you're not an alpha... You can fast forward. You can fast forward through this. This is, not, this is not for you. Um, so if you have a butler at home, which most people do, it's pretty... Then take uh, notes. It's the opposite of a niche thing. Yeah. What's the opposite of niche? Niche? Ni- niche. Niche? It's yeah. a niche thing. Uh, a lot of people have butler, so this applies to you. Um, I guess I could start. Something I've been doing with chives recently is uh, keeping them on a leash. Um, we put leashes on dogs. We put yeah. leashes on cats. We put leashes on kids. We put leashes on el- the elderly. Uh, we put leashes on all sorts of things. So why not your butler? Uh, and the reason we were doing that is because he was getting a little feisty. Um, I told him, hey, hey, Chives, pick up your knick-knack paddy wax. Uh, he wasn't picking them up. He, he was kind of ignoring me because um, I'll admit I was being a little bit of a beta. And this is part of the learning process. So I called up Jake on our nightly call. Um, and I was like, hey, bud, you know, I, I got chives over here. He's not picking up his knickknack paddy wax. Uh, they're all over the floor. He's ruining my living room. What do you suggest? And he, you know, the gears started turning, the cogs started working. And he went ropes, uh, chains, uh, leash, leash, Velcro. get him a le- Velcro, yeah. get him a leash. So I got him a Velcro leash. Um, and I've been keeping him on that ever since you mentioned that. And it's really improved his attitude because if, if he won't pick up his knickknack paddy wax um, or his ding dongs or his ringy dinks, I will pull the leash, uh, keep it in your strong hand, that's very important, and I will kick, kick him. Uh, kick him in the fanny, kick him in the patoot, whatever works. And that will get him moving right away. Yeah. And he's actually, it's, it's kind of cute. He does squeal a little bit like a little schnauzer. Yes. When you pull him yes. too. He also has a breathing issue. So he does kind of sound like a pug when he breathes. Um, so we keep him in the garage, much like a dog. But, yeah. That's uh, a different story. I love it, man. I love it. I really do. And I'm, I'm really glad that you've recognized the way I've been treating you was to groom you to become the alpha that I knew was deep inside there. Right. So it's... It's really, 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 really fun for me to see you progress and learn and mature and get on my level. We're at, a, we're at a higher wavelength now. I love that you're always playing 4D chess, mm-hmm. you know. That's one thing about Jake is he's always thinking linear. He's always thinking uh, vertically as well. He's playing 3D chess in a 3D space. He's always thinking ahead. He's always manipulating you, but uh, not in a bad way, in a good way. To Because to... at the end I get what I want, which is good. Right. Good good friends, good uh, relationships. So I appreciate that. I take I take what I want. What's mine is mine and what's yours is mine. Right. Um my my butler tip for the day is simple. I want to keep Jeeves on his toes at all times, both figuratively and physically. I demand him to walk on his toes. I don't want the entire presence of his bulbous waffle stomper feet to touch my entire floor. So it's as, as minimal as context as possible. He's got dirty peasant feet. They're disgusting. He's like, well, it just wouldn't be a problem if, if you'd buy me shoes. And we said, you son of a shoes You are, couldn't wear shoes in here anyway. Shoes are for the privileged. So. You dirty peasant. So. Oh, sorry, I just gotta get my hands right here for a second. My tip to keep him on his toes is my hourly salary to him, which is two crisp one dollar U.S. dollars. I will place on the desk every hour Mm -hmm. that he does whatever the hell I want him to do. He listens, no back sass, no back talk, no lip. The minute he does anything to displease me or doesn't finish something in the way that I deem fit, I take two dollars off. Put it back in my wallet. Giving him the illusion that he is in control, that, oh, the amount of money I earn is up to me, and it's visible, it's tangible, it's here, it's now. I can already plan my portfolio around it. Right. The minute I take it off, he has no one to blame but himself, but little does he know 
the house always wins because I choose which conditions that he needs to follow and I choose any consequence for anything that he does that I deem wrong, which is taking away his hard-earned dough. And I have mm-hmm. no problem with it because that's what a fucking alpha does. Yeah. Much like you do with Gordo now and, and Fiona and Fiona. Um, and you're probably wondering, hey, Jake, uh, why, why are you giving him dollars? Why are you giving him the balloons? Why are you giving him the good stuff? Uh, because he's scum. That's why. The doubloons are for kings. The doubloons are for alphas. Uh, little copies are for are for alphas and kings. Little coppers, little platinums are for kings. Dollar bills are just paper, and we just print them out willy nilly. And that's why the weak, the peasants of our society get dollar bills, and we hoard the doubloons, much like many alphas do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I argue that they were the original NFTs. The balloons, yeah. 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 Yeah, they were the uh, NFTs of the past. Um, the balloons. They're so non fungible, you would not fungible, funging believe it. Right. And what's cool is you can trade them in the cloud, you can trade them, you know, online, you can give them out for birthday gifts, party favors, mm-hmm. uh, but of course, only to other alphas. Yes. So. We want to keep that thing in a pure blood circulation. Right. Right. We want uh, everything to be to be uh, fair and square, willy nilly. Everything lined up. Hey, uh, Chives, could you fix the microphone, please? Chives, I think it's dro- drooping. You might have to turn the handle. You. <laughs> you stinky. Dude, could you not? Yeah, it's that one. You disgusting pug. Do you need a muzzle, too? Oh, uh, he hasn't had water in a while. Oh, well. Okay, water? Need hey. water to survive. Chives, can you see that water there? Bring that to Julian for me, please. He's thirsty. Watching you. Uh, I was going to say thank you, but alphas always say... You, you narrow-headed, really not, not thank, thank you. you. Now yes. take it, Chives, and go back to your dog kennel. Yes. Power. Power! Dude, you alpha the shit out of him. I alpha that shit. Don't think twice. If you creamed, it is because that is true alpha power. And only true alphas cream their pants. I did. We actually trained each other to cream on command. Um, we whisper into each other's ears. I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. cream. Yeah. I'm a little lad who loves berries yeah. and cream. Oh. We just did it at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here on the agenda. I mean, we are backlogged about 25,000 emails. Yeah. Should we do some of those? Yeah. Yeah, let's do a couple let's emails. Let's get into it. Um, I got them right here. Let's see. One for the alpha male and one for, for the, the alpha male. Alpha male. <clears throat> you want to start us off, brother? Yeah, sure. Thank you for your questions. If you have any questions for your highliness, highlinesses, email them to talkingtrek at gmail.com. And don't be afraid, uh, don't be overpowered by our alphaness. We do sift through all of them. And if you didn't get picked, um, you are a beta. So work on yourself, watch a little more Talking Trek, and maybe you'll be alphas like yeah, us. Yeah. Uh, my name is Ariana F. Lovings. I am from Cuba. I have been a fan of Talking Shrek for the past five days, and I would just be absolutely star Shrek if you answered my question. What characters would you like to see in a wet t-shirt competition, Mm. and who do you think would win and why? Okay. I would also like to know if either of you have competed in a wet t-shirt contest. Please insert pics if you have them. Thank you for your service. Uh, thank you, Ariana nice. Loving nice. from Cuba. 
I uh, you know this is one we've thought about before and even uh, did our nightly AOL messenger back and forth about. Mm -hmm. But well, let's start off a minute. Go ahead. with this. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt you. Um, Cuba, that's part of their culture. So I can kind of see the angle that this is coming from. In Cuba, a big part of their culture um, is wet t-shirt contests. Uh, which is interesting that she would ask this. Are we appropriating culture if we answer this? If we uh, do a wet t-shirt contest? Is it a trick question? Is, is this a lawyer maybe? Maybe I'm, I'm getting the alpha sense that this might be a trap. Mm -hmm. But what a beta move to let anyone tell us what we culturally can and cannot do. Right. If yeah. I want to wear a sombrero, if I want to play a djembe, if I want to go yodeling, like, what are you going to do? Yeah. Well, I feel the answer to this question is whatever we want it to be. People right. don't come to us and tell us that we are appropriating. We don't ask for permission. We are calling the shots and we are telling you what is offensive and what is not. And as alphas, we are deciding... This is not cultural appropriation. We will answer whatever the f we want. Right. And you can just deal with that tough malarkey. You can so. deal with that malarkey. And if you can't, then get out of the wolf's den. You know? So, f it, dude. Who, who, which, which yabos do we want to see? I'm thinking uh, that's a good question now that I'm willing to appropriate. Uh, I'm thinking fairy god, fairy godmother. She's got big burgers. Big old big burgers. honkers. Yeah. Oh, oh. Two just sopping slabs of beef just rolling off of her chest. You know? I just want to go I'd up to give, her. What I'd give. Oh, what I would give. I, I'm just picturing now, like, we're in a, we're in a McDonald's. Yeah. And she's sitting there just she's sopping there. wet with oh, that McDonald's is. grease on her shirt. Oh. Wet t-shirt <laughs> contest goes through my head. I get up from my double quarter pounder and cheese, and I walk over. I'm wearing my tight leather chaps, my big bulge, big hot dog bulge. Yeah, you are. Coming right out, the zipper. Yeah. I don't notice. I walk right up to her, chest out, shoulders back and down, chin high, and I walk up to her, and I'm just picturing myself in the most alpha way, like, show me those burgers. We Give want me a taste. Those burgers right now. Give me a taste of those burgers. Let me put a little ketchup on them in your In Breakfast, the most lunch, alpha dinner. way. And then everyone in the McDonald's standing up and clapping. And then they go. <gasps> and, and, then we, the, and then we nuzzle noses like this. Yeah. Yep, and then all the betas scatter like little mice boys. Into and we get a couple bathroom. extra McDubs. We get a couple extra free McDubs. And then we invite her over back to my place with, guess who's my second pick? Fiona, the mite muncher. Because she will munch that mite, just like... She'll get at it. Jake's Fiona munches his mite nightly. Nightly. There's only on so much call. munch mite, only so much uh, minch moot. Minch meat, mince meat, mince, mince meat, meat. Before you just f to the uck. Right, you're. I'm all out of minced meat from our nightly call because yeah. while she's mincing your meat, I'm mincing my own yeah, meat. By proxy. Right. And her name technically is Fiona, so I'll let you have that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Those are my picks. Anyone else you want to add to that list? <sighs> Maybe. Mama bear. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because right, I'm pretty sure bears have six. Six areoli. Oh, yeah. Kind of like sheep or uh, yeah. wood boys. Just kind of down their stomach. So she could flash me like four different times. And it, it, it'd be like a combination. You never worry, you know what you're going to get. They could right. be different sizes. They could be different girths. They could poke out further. Mm -hmm. You know, black, brown, tan. What you I could have a pepperoni here, I like a chocolate it all. chip here, uh, a, a perfect dime piece, perfect diamond here. Yeah, yeah. And and what's great about Mama Bear being in a wet T-shirt contest? If you know, I got the ho I got the front yard hose going. We're about to spray those yoles down. 
if I accidentally miss, you know, if I don't get up here, it might hit something along the belly, yeah. and then you yeah. still get a nip. It's more of a broad target. That's that's for true. And there's more just a slap around. It's like a game of whack-a-mole. Right. Up down here, up down there. Yeah. Hey, thanks and, for the question. Yeah, thanks for the question, uh, Ariana. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go for it. Let's jump rolling. right in. Oh, this is from Germaine Abernathy of Hexington, Germany. Hey, Swamp Nuts, get a life. Just kidding. I love you. Oh. You almost got the worst of I me. I thought he was coming up alpha. Yeah. Almost. I love watching you guys. If I was blind and deaf because it's so bad. Not really. My family watches you guys every night. Well, I'm in my room because I cannot stand you guys. Haha, <laughs> LOL, totally kidding. You've inspired me, inspired me to end my life because I want to rip my ears up when you talk. Pick your lane, buddy. I can't do much more of this flip-flopping. Yeah, he's got There's more twists here than a goddamn M. Night Shyamalan movie. No, I'm just joshing you. Okay, oh, okay. Joking. I would rather cook my own grandma into a chili than ever watch you again. LOL, no, 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 I'm a dedicated fan. Okay, he's back. A dedicated fan... Of ignore your advice because it's so bad. Mm -hmm. My question is: Do you have any plans to do another play in the future? Good question. Great, Good you question. Jermaine. Um, God willing. I mean, we got we got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of really, 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 really fun stuff planned for the future. A lot of different plays. They're just all kind of mixing together in my head, though, because there's the, it's an open platter. Mm -hmm. We can do anything we want at this point. Mm -hmm. We are gods. We are kings. We are alphas. Uh, and the road is ours. The world is ours. We don't even book venues anymore. We just show up and set up cash only at the door. Right. We have an agent, Chives, our butler, who takes the calls for us, picks out the good ones, gets rid of the bad ones, and... Um, I guess do you want to tell them about maybe give them a little hint as to what we might do next. We talked about on our nightly call last night. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. So we did trek the halls. The next one, of course, will be. Uh, I I can't tell you, but we can say something that rhymes with it. Schmush and schmoots. Schmush and schmoots. Uh, at at. Are you gonna... With our own twist. Yes. Schmush and schmoots with our own twist, we're thinking about putting, and I can say something that rhymes with it, a little more bored Marquad in there. A lot more. A lot more power, a lot more alpha in this next one. Um, it's going to be a really character-driven movie. It's going to be a high octane, straight to the, the, the jugular. It's going to blow your tits off, I promise. Straight to the jugs. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, and it's it's been hard to sift through all these opportunities. We've been getting offers left and right ever since. Uh, the Daily Herald, located in Linden, Utah, put up a uh, a review, a think piece, would you rather, of the play, giving it high praise and reviews. And we started getting it from all over. We were getting Valley View Elementary, Pleasant Grove High School. We were getting the pool down there on the corner. Mm -hmm. Just we couldn't even keep it straight. Behind the Sizzler, they have a kind of a little stage uh, that we. Did some signings at some headshots. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on, and we're not going to say too much, but we will keep you updated so that you can get tickets. Mm -hmm. um, and the article was great. I mean, thank you, Daily Herald. Thank you, Enzyme. Thank you, the friend for. They really wrote this really detailed uh, think piece, artistic view that was about a paragraph. Um, about our play, and they loved it, as far as I know. I didn't read it. Chives did and mm -hmm. uh, told me about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I told him, if this is bad, Chives, if it's a bad review, you're going to be punished for it. So don't lie to me. Tell me the truth. Tell your daddy, Pep Pep, the truth, or I will make you eat my dog bone tonight. And so he did. He told mm -hmm. me it was great. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Jermaine. Yep, Jermaine. Go ahead. All right. I am Sherman Shinyaki. I am a German Catholic from America. Recently, I have been struggling with going through a messy divorce. 
I know that. I have been in a pre messy divorce, pre divorce mess myself. And mm -hmm. I can tell you, it is a sack of potatoes. Uh, my in laws are getting divorced, and it's starting to turn into quite a mess. They keep fighting in my basement and won't stop scuffing the paint. I'm at my wit's end, and I am hoping you can help me. What has been a moment in your life when Shrek made you laugh in a situation that wasn't appropriate to laugh? Sincerely, Hermaine Shinyaki. That's a great question. It is. Um, as, it's pretty loaded. As you know, uh, Shrek is pretty much 24-7 running through my mind. Uh, if we're not doing our rewatches, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. our, our think pieces, our essays, our mm -hmm. nightly calls, our... Our early morning meditation, pondering, our, journaling. Our watercolors, our recreation of the swamp in your backyard with the hose and your kids' toys. All of it. Um, I am replaying the movie in my head. That's the only way I can get through the day because yeah. I f hate my life. And the only thing that gets me through the day is knowing that there is a beautiful green sunrise on the other side. Um, so many moments. Uh, for example, uh, when Jake was in court uh, before he went to prison, mm -hmm. um, the judge was, you know, talking to Jake. I was I was right behind him in the seats, giving him some uh, moral support, and the judge was saying, uh, "What you did." is the most horrific thing I have ever seen happen to a boy in this courtroom. They even threw in the term crimes against humanity. Right, crimes against humanity. You took this boy's life away from him. You took his rights, you took his vision away. And uh, I couldn't think of a more horrendous thing for a father to do to their son. And all I could think about, because again, I'm just thinking through the film, uh, right when he said that, I was thinking about the three blind mice uh, on Shrek's table, <laughs> stumbling around, one falls over the candle. Mm -hmm. So I just start laughing, just giving a big old hoot mm -hmm. in the middle of court. And the judge said, that is contempt of court. You are sentenced to jail for 30 days. Um, and I was sent right away to jail. Um, and then when I was in jail, uh, my bunkmate, uh, Rhonda, big, big guy, uh, very big, a lot like Shrek. Mm -hmm. So again, it was just playing in my head, you know. I oftentimes would, when I needed to ask him a question, I'd be like, hey, Shrek, he'd be like, what? And I'd be like, uh, Rhonda, you know, I'd forget that he wasn't Shrek. Um, and, you know, we, I had him play some toadstool games out in the prison yard with me. Mm -hmm. So it's just always, you know, everything I'm doing is really uh, the thoughts and the subconscious that's going on is just summoning Shrek mm -hmm. to the forefront mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. the things I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I tell you, bud, you're 100% you're, you're correct here, okay? If you were Rotten Tomatoes, you'd be Toy Story 2, 100. Um, I'm going to take a real high level on this one here in my answer because my current source of inspiration comes from the more of the movies, not Shrek himself. It's Shrek adjacent. With us building this empire that we have here now, we've almost completely doubled our employee salary or the salaries that we spend on employees. We went from uh, just having Mitch. Right. Hey, Mitch. Mitch and Chives. And... Damn, it's it's hard. You got to be the bad guy a lot. It takes a lot of discipline to run the kingdom that we call Talking Shrek Incorporated. And you know what? Good Sometimes times. it does mean chaining one of them to a table, breaking their legs off, dipping their head in milk until they promise to, to do right by me. And you know what? I'm going to have to eat a little bit of crow here. Recently, I know we've talked quite a bit about our newly found respect and understanding, empathy, bonding, brotherhood, with that of Lord Farquaad. Lord Farquaad. Sometimes you gotta do something wrong to make something right. You can't please everybody. To build a kingdom, there's gotta be some blood on your hands. Right, and you're probably saying, you guys hated Lord Farquaad. Uh, because we didn't quite grasp what it takes to run a kingdom. 
Now that we've run our own kingdom, dare I say dynasty, doing the Shrek the Halls uh, for all those people, all those wonderful people, we had so much power, we had to learn how to harness that power <laughs> and write it like a beta male. And so we have a lot more sympathy for Lord Farquaad. And um, we're going to go a little bit deeper into that after this last question here. Was that all the questions? I think I have one more. One more? From Sylvia Slugworth of Boston, PA. Thank you, Sylvia. Dear TS, I want to know what I should do about bullying. Every day from the second I walk into school to the moment the bell rings, I am getting bullied. My classmates pull my hair, spit spit wads at me, and fill my locker with so many SpaghettiOs. I, it got, it's gotten so bad, my mem mem thinks I should drop out of Yale and move back home to go to just regular Beta Cut Community College. What do you two babes think? Oh, Sylvia. Oh, Sylvia. Miss Slugsworth. Oh, damn, there's a lot to unpack here. Um, first, I want to say Yale is for betas anyway. Uh, who, who do you even know that's been to Yale that's even made a difference in the world? Mm -mm. Not one. Not mm -mm. a single, single beta. Uh, all the alphas come out of Richards Community College down here in Beaver, Utah. Uh, it is a smaller establishment. Uh, Rich, I wouldn't say smaller, it's elite. Elite, right. It's uh, in Richard's backyard. He does weekly classes. He's taught us everything we know uh, that's outside of the world of Shrek. Uh, so I recommend looking up Richard's Community College. Um, again, it is just a home down on Blueberry Lane. Uh, if you want to go there and, and look for him, uh, Richard. And maybe he can teach you to be more of an alpha. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, I think we should clarify something. If you're looking to go get a worthless piece of paper to hang on your wall and put on your resume, this is not the place for you. If you want real salt of the earth, down home knowledge and wisdom that's going to get you through this life in the biggest way possible, then and only then would you be ready for Richards. Right. So... Would you suggest studying Lord Farquaad before? Maybe rewatching the films, looking at it from his perspective, and learning about uh, being an alpha and taking yeah. control of uh, community, society, people of Duloc through Lord Farquaad's example. Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. and recommending? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Take what's yours. Take what's yours. Leave none alive. Um, <clears throat> there are sacrifices I'm willing to make. And you possibly you getting the shit beat out of you is one of them. possibly get the shit beat out of you or lose your life. Lord Farquhar. If you do, let you or your next kin let us know. We will send you a complimentary uh, Shrek wedding dress or funeral dress to be buried in. Right. I would also take another step in there and think... What am I doing to deserve this bullying? What am I doing wrong to make these people despise me so much that they literally want to spit their saliva in my face? They physically want to hurt your break their knuckles over my face, over my chin, over my chest, over my belly, over my sides, my ribs. What right. am I doing yeah. wrong? Yeah, you should take a deep look at yourself and learn how to protect your mem mem. Get your mem mem a gun. Bring a gun to school. Uh, to protect yourself. That's what a lot of kids are doing these days is bringing guns to school to protect themselves uh, more than ever before. There's been at least half a dozen kids who have been wrongfully sent to prison because they were protecting themselves at school with their Second Amendment. Yeah, yeah. You know? The right so, to bear arms, brother. Right to bear arms. Uh, and on that note, may Lord Farquaad bless you and your family. Uh, thank you, guys, and... Oh, I do have one. I have one more. Uh, dearest, I am Poe Dingles, and I write you all the way from Montana. Hello from Montana. Uh, I have felt a strong connection to the swamp for such a long time, and you would be pleased to know that I am actually in the process of moving my family of nine down to the promised land mm. uh, in the next month or so. Do lock, probably, then, right? I would think so. 
Uh, we have a cute, cozy shack being built as we speak. Uh, what is your favorite Shrek-themed meal that you would like to prepare on an intimate date night with your little ladies? Uh, may Shrek bless you, your homes and fill your hearts. Uh, that's a great question. I have been saying this since we started this podcast. Uh, the perfect meal um, is gingerbread cookies. Um, Jake has actually been uh, meal prepping gingerbread cookies for both of us. Uh, these last couple weeks, you know, a little gingerbread cookie waffle in your pocket, uh, tiny ones. Uh, he'll he'll break out the frying pan. He'll put the dough in. He'll cook them. And then he'll freeze them, uh, make a whole week's worth, and then yeah. I'll come over pick them up. They're nutrient dense. Uh, I'm pretty sure mostly fat, sugar free, vegan, water based diet. Diet. Yeah. So you're not gonna have any problems, man. Not not one bit. You're not going to have any problems going that route. Um, a recipe I recently found that me and the missus have been consuming every night is uh, we found a recipe on Etsy. It was far quad kumquats. Far quad com- kumquats, kumquats. Yeah. They're almost just like regular kumquats, but what you do is you put little toothpicks in them for little legs, and then uh, with uh, edible food coloring markers, we're, we're drawing... Black hair on the head. Right, black hair. And then it, make sure you're stocked up on your red f- food dye. Uh, anything you're cooking that's not gingerbread cookies or kumquats, you want to put red food dye in. Uh, red like the blood of Lord Farquaad's enemies and mm-hmm. his, his uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. kingly outfit. And the sacrifices that he is willing to make. Right. The sacrifices he is willing to make for, for everyone in his, dare I say, democracy. Yeah. You know? And, you know, I, I think there's something to be said about the kumquats themselves is, man, I, I just, I feel powerful. I feel strong. I feel I can endure. When me and Fiona are getting to the hanky-panky, it is just, Rounds. we are banging more than Shrek and Donkey in that wrestling match. It's oh. just nonstop. Just pounding. Bring a couple kumquats into the into the bedroom. Spice it up, you know. Uh, and you can guarantee that every alpha is eating kumquats and gingerbread cookies every single night. Mm-hmm. So thank you, uh, Poe. All right, let's see what we got here on the agenda. Um, I guess we should go right into. The deep dive and continuing this episode. So, uh, back to the Lord Farquaad thing. We just got through, if you, if you remember from last episode, uh, the stadium full of people, Shrek, doing his best to fight these knights, Lord Farquaad's knights, uh, the knightliest knights in all the night, uh, in all the land. And um, look, he won barely. He won barely. Uh, but only because Lord Farquaad wasn't in the ring, I think. Right. He could have taken him out. Just too sweet. Too sweet, yeah. That's why he has others fight for him, to do what Jake did to like what Jake did to me, to teach those knights a lesson on how to be more alpha. Or mm-hmm. Lord Farquaad would have had no problem with Shrek and Donkey and uh, taking them both on. And I would say maybe it was a mercy move. There were children in the audience that he didn't want them to see men getting decapitated, quartered, sliced down the middle, heads ripped off, throats slashed. Yeah, because Lord Farquaad is a family man, and he does care about his people uh, in Duloc. Mm -hmm. So uh, He accepted the quest. mm -hmm. He has a little bit of an idea what he's in for. And this is a classic elf move on Lord Farquaad's end. Mm -hmm. Why? Classic alpha. Do something for yourself in which you can hire or blackmail someone else to do it for you. Right. What, Take what's yours. Right, right, right. Why do yourself when you can uh, manipulate a green man into doing it for you? Mm-hmm. Uh, much like the most successful people in our country, you know. Uh, ride on the backs of those and get your wealth, Get your take what's yours through other people and leave them in the dirt like a real alpha would, you know. <laughs> it reminds me of... You know the recent production at the at the Abington Manor in Lehigh, Utah, is man, 
we got those actors in and out. I'm talking just like that. And uh, a lot of these actors didn't even know their own name or where they were. Uh, I, I, I believe this to be because they were under some sort of enchantment in the way that we forced them into the role. There was no choice. We made the choice for them. It's our world and they're living in it, right? Mm -hmm. So I understand that. I understand sometimes you gotta delegate even some of the hardest tasks, but it's gonna be okay because they have no choice. Right, and sometimes you gotta be the bad guy to be the good guy in the end. Um, now, one thing I did want to touch on before we continue this is uh, I we really sympathize with Lord Farquaad since our production. Um, just taking a look at it from his perspective, people making fun of his size, uh, the love, trying to find true love. You know how hard it is for an alpha to find true love um, because no one's good enough. You know, mm -hmm. you have mm -hmm. to find that perfect, perfect Fiona, just like Lord Farquaad is doing. So I sympathize with him. I get where he's coming from. I feel bad for him. Uh, he doesn't want me to feel bad for him because he's an alpha. But, um, you know, you can really see the struggle that he has. And then some guy and his pet come, walk right in and they're trying to, you know, take back what he rightfully took and right, what is there. Right, right. Do you think maybe... He knew that this was a suicide mission, and if it wasn't, the very slim chance he gets this busty green bride. I think so. I think uh, not that Shrek was any sort of threat to Lord Farquaad, but um, I think he he didn't have time. He's got alpha things to do. He's got people to torture, uh, butlers to back. molest, yes. uh, all sorts of things. And so he got rid of him quick quickly got him out of there soup thought it was a suicide yeah. mission mission yeah chives what are your thoughts come here to the microphone speak up use your chest get over here get over here chives what we told him he should never be on camera this was a test this was a test so chives hit him Wait! Stay. One for the road! Do you want in on this, Julian? Yeah. Ah. Oh, wait. I missed. Chives. He now you get two. For two. Flinching. You get two for flinching, you stupid <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Come here. Get him again. I'm going to scratch you so hard. Ah. Yeah. Scratch him. Bring it back. Bring it back, Chives. Bring it back, Chives. So God help me, if you're on camera again! <laughs> How dare you try to destroy our award that we won for that production. Thank you, Daily Herald. If you sign up right now with the code word, let's have Shreks tonight, you will get August, uh, the second uh, issue of August every year for half off. Uh, 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 fees and terms may apply. Fees and terms may apply. And if you enter the code right now into ESPN.ICU.CPU.434.com, you will get two free tickets to the swamp to come see your favorite Lord Farquaad boys. Uh, but make sure you enter in the code. Mm -hmm. Give me those big old burgers, you dirty horse, at... TalkinTrack.com. TalkinTrack.com. A little disclaimer with that as well. There is a little bit of a corralled off area in the corner. That's the that's the pre-approved location. You might notice that it's actually encased and closed off with a lock, a one-way lock on our side. That is for your safety. Uh, but come hang. Come hang. And show us them burgers. Show us them burgers. Papa's hungry. Papa's hungry. <sighs> All right, should we uh, jump right into a little bit here? And you guys have been saying over and over again, you guys are blazing through this too quickly. Um, so we are going to pump the brakes. I'm going to slow uh, it up. We're going to slow it up, and we're going to watch the film and, and try to get through this uh, within, what, 50 episodes? Yeah. All right, guys, so tune up. 
uh, your movie right to when Shrek and Donkey take off to go fight the dragon. And we will hit play now. From as yesterday. And let's stop let's it right stop there. It right there. So we get a real beta song here. Um, I think they could have gone the direction of maybe Creed or uh, Nine Inch Nails. Right. Something yeah. with more urgency, something with more substance, something with more danger to it. Yeah. Because not only is this a dangerous quest, but you got to think of the hardcore bro that sent him on this quest. Right. And how we're going to honor him. Something more alpha for me, really. How about imagine dragons? Dragons. Yeah. Yeah, something like uh, imagine dragons would sing. Imagine they're taking their first steps away from the stadium and it goes... First things first, first time, and they will tell you what. Tell what about third time, and then and the first, first things you do with them first. Me, whoa, whoa. You do the first things first. Whoa. whoa. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. That would Love capture that the essence. Shit. That is heavy, heavy, Yeah, heavy those rock. are rock stars. Heavy um, I know they're a little bit underground. We actually found them out because of the simple word dragon. Mm -hmm. We were searching for dragon, uh, donkey, hentai, and a, and, a, and a link for Imagine Dragons came up. And we're like, mm -hmm. oh, are they imagining maybe a Shrek uh, a donkey with a, a dragon that's not really there? I was searching for nuclear waste, uh, something green, toxins, nuclear waste, uh, things like that to put in the pond in my backyard to make it green. And Imagine Dragons popped right up because of their song mm. about toxic waste and hardships of being a real rock star. Yeah. Ding. And I know how hard it is to be a celebrity, to be famous. I, I got recognized twice this morning at the Dingling Mart while I was picking out uh, Wetzel Doodles and Hoodahs for the week. Yep, chips, ringy dings, flippy flops. Pancakes, waffles. A couple glizzy boys, a couple crispy boys to, to, you know, really wash it down. Yeah. Some O'Doul, some lean cuisine. That's funny because we saw someone who looked just like Julian Myers yeah. run up to you and say, Hey, you're Jacob from Shrek the Halls. Play. I can't believe I'm seeing you here. You're just a normal alpha. Yeah. Okay. Juli Julian Myers? And he goes, No, sir, you are incorrect. Right. Anyway, I love your production. Listen, can you buy me a $10 gift card for Xbox Live? Right. I need some gas money. I need some gas need money. Some... Yep, yep, yep. Um, can I see what your driver's license looks like? Can I take a picture of your yeah. wallet? Yeah. Your driver's license, your card numbers, things so like that. So, of course, that. you know, I let him. A fan, a anything for the fans. Anything for the fans. Um, so... Which got our, our gears rolling. We sent Julian Myers an, another request. Mm -hmm. So uh, we were going to talk about this real quick while we're on the topic. Um, Julian Myers, we haven't got him yet. He's had some family drama going on uh, in Uganda. So he wasn't able to make it. He felt really bad uh, about you know us buying him tickets, sending him gift cards for hotels and things like that. And so he was like, hey guys, to repay you, I have an investment opportunity. And I was like, yes, 100% in yeah, we're whatever in. you we're need. In. We're in. We love investing as alphas. Um, and he said, hey, it's in the Bitcoin, uh, which is the cool thing to do. It's like an NFT, but it's a coin. And uh, he said, send, if you send me $2,000, I can turn it into $20,000 by next week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I immediately called up Jake, all hollabaloo, all excited. And I said, hey, man, let's sell your wife's panties again online and get two grand together tonight. Mm -hmm. So lo and behold, we got those stinky swamp undies and we sold them all. Got two grand. Mm -hmm. And uh, we sent Julie Myers the money lickety split. He invested it in his Bitcoin stuff and we should be getting a lot. So that was two weeks ago. So, um, 
would ask when we get it, you said a week. He's like, oh, I think our different time zones mm-hmm. mess up the time and, and the week somehow. Right, so. something like, yeah, time zones. I'm not no geographer or geologist or anything, but time zones are crazy, man. Like, it, what is it, weeks ahead? Weeks, months? Well, yeah, we recently had New Year's Eve here, and I saw on the news three mornings before them celebrating the fireworks going off, so... Mm-hmm. So, yeah, he, he said a week. It might be a few months, but we are definitely getting back the money. And in the meantime, any spare change, any nickels and pennies, any doubloons I get, I send them right to him. I send them right to Julie Myers because this is anything an else incredible we anything else we investment get. opportunity. So if you want to invest as well, go ahead and hit Jensen Reagan up on Instagram. DM him. Uh, you can see all the testimonies on his page, people sharing their bank statements, getting money, mm-hmm. uh, and DM him, shoot him some money. and He only he'll... takes Cash App. Yeah, Cash App or PayPal or gift cards. Uh, so have those gift cards handy, and uh, don't forget to type in the code Walking Vortex. Touch my burgers. One, two, three for an extra free Bitcoin. (laughs) All right. Let's keep going. All right, they're laying down. They're... (laughs) Shrek. Funny. Look at his walk. Let's pause it right there. Yeah. So we do see Shrek and Donkey walking. They're having the little mishaps. I forgot that, you know, with all this Shrek the Hall play thing, I forgot how charming Shrek is. And kind of beta. Kind of carefree. But charming. Kind of carefree. Carefree, yeah. Here, take this back a few seconds. Look at this pose. Look at that stance. Look at those cheeks. That can't be alpha, but that is... That's a real strong heart stance. Man, a beta, but a real man. Chest open and vulnerable to the looming mountain and quest ahead. That would be terrifying. And I would say that Lord Farquaad would be less afraid than Shrek. Right. But then again, we actually don't see Lord Farquaad do anything dangerous in the whole movie. But that's because he's an alpha and he's delegating. Right. So don't let uh, Shrek. Beautiful, beautiful, strong, handsome, green, beta Shrek. Fool ya. I guess it is fitting. They're literally on their way. That's true. To certain death. To certain death. Whew, Shrek, did you do that? Man, you gotta warn somebody before you just crack one off. My mouth was open and everything. Believe me, Donkey, if it was me, you'd be dead. Now that, right there. Remi- right there. that reminds me of a story, a little story. We were at Jake's uh, fifth annual Shrek-themed birthday party uh, for Shrek. Now, Shrek is a timeless guy. He's been around for a very long time. So we do one every month or so. Mm -hmm. Uh, Whenever we feel like it, hey, happy birthday, Shrek. We get together. And uh, I asked, hey, I left my phone up in your room. Uh, me and Fiona were up there ta- having a private conversation uh, in your room alone. Um, just a friend thing, of course, right? And uh, I left my phone in her in my pants on her on your guys' bed. And I said, "Hey, would you go up and grab my phone?" And uh, sweet, sweet Laura was like, "Hey, I'll go with you, Jake. Uh-huh. I'll go up with you and get the phone with you cuz you guys like to be alone sometimes and have yeah. conversations." Uh, and I know you were probably wondering why it took us 10, 15 minutes to come back with it. I'm sorry. Yeah. I should have told you before. Changed your clothes and everything. Uh-huh. Um, but we have that level of trust uh, to be with each other's wives purely platonical. Um, so you guys go up your, I remember you walking up the stairs uh, and you doing your little Shrek walk with your butt cheeks. I was holding cheeks. her hand so she wouldn't fall. Right. I was supporting her caboose, her, mm-hmm. cabo- her nice caboose and that loose goose safely up those stairs. And Make I didn't sure want her to good. beef it and ruin the party. Thank you for taking such good care of my wife. Uh, and you guys were going up, your butt cheeks were clenched. Uh, you said, hey, can I step in front of you? I'll help you up. 
I'll carry you like a queen. And that's, oh, I love the way you treat my wife like a queen, like she should be treated. Yeah. And uh, you let one rip right when her face was right behind your caboose. And it was so funny. The whole party was laughing. People started chanting alpha, 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 alpha. Um, and, and they came over with their hands and scooped the air. Right. <laughs> A little bit of... They were chipmunking for later. Yeah. I saw a couple of people even, like, rub it across their lips so they could do that. Yeah. <sighs> Chanting alpha, 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 alpha. And you said... Uh, or Laura was like, hey, who was that? It Was that you, Jake? And you said, if it was me... You'd be dead. Yep. And the, again, and the she whole laughed. party roared. We laughed. We laughed. And then we shut her door and went into Gordo's room at the end of the hall to find your... I thought your phone was there. Mm -hmm. You didn't say which room. You just said, in your pants on the bed. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. And uh, me and Fiona took a quick walk in the backyard alone while you guys were doing that. Then we all met back up and laughed again about the fart... Uh, the alpha fart <laughs> that Jake did. Yeah, I think we're even commissioning um, a painter, a world-renowned painter, to recreate the scene so it can live on in our hearts and in our homes forever. Yep. You can go pre-order a print of that at TalkingShrek.com slash nice caboose with a loose goose letter rip alpha. Yep. Or you can order my rendition from an artist of my farts at uh, my website, talkingshrek at gmail.com. Just email that, and I will send you a print for free. Uh, just type in the code alphafartdom, stinky stinky fart boy, uh, lickety doo da, splittity sploop, to get your free print. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep stomping. It's brimstone. We must be getting close. Yeah, right, brimstone. Don't Just his senses are so strong. Like, how does he know the smell of brimstone means they're getting close? His sixth sense, mm -hmm. his frontal cortex, his third eye must be wide open. Open to the senses. Mm -hmm. If And if you're going to know that it's brimstone, one could even argue that he's pretty familiar with the entire table of elements and their various... Yeah. Mixins and in, in right. various combinations, uh, right. alchemy. Like he's he's uh, the fine wine taster of rocks and minerals. He can see, he can smell, he can taste, and know what element on the tabulatic chart of rocks. What element that is. And he's got to have a taste. I mean, like like we've seen and discussed, and we've even adopted this. We brush and gargle our, our mouth with fresh earth. Right. Every morning, I go into the dirt swamp. The swamp, I, I, I churn it up, I get my toothbrush down in there, and I I do it because there are those minerals and uh, rock sediments and uh, decaying flesh of animals that really can shape your immune system mm -hmm. and your tastes. Study brimstone. Uh, there's another little tidbit we picked up. We need to freshen up on our brimstone stuff. I'm getting a call real quick. Jackie Sapphire. Is it Laura? Jackie, talk to me. Oh, Jackie. Yeah. Hey, Jackie. Yeah, Julian says, hey. What's going on? There's no way. There's no way. What? You know this for sure. From CNN. No. CNN? Is CNN a, a reliable news source? CNN. Okay, dude, this is crazy. If, if what you're saying is true, okay, yes, no, I will let you know. Okay. What? Toaster strudels are back at Target? Oh, God. With the green icing? We received word. Because as you know, Jackie Sapphire's new gig is he's studying for a role by serving up corn dogs at uh, Hollywood Studios, Universal, Orlando. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, at the sh at Shrek 4D, right? Yeah. Which it's leads us to the bad places. news. What? It is forever closing its doors. 
tomorrow. Come close, 10 p.m. What? Gone forever. No, you're pulling my leg. He claimed they, you're they called it a money pit. Can you Google this, please? Yeah. Goggle.com. What's that page you were on? Oh, that was uh, some photos me and Fiona were sharing. That wasn't any of them. Sorry. Looked like some discolored skin, some discoloration. Yeah, she was just showing me a rash she had on her leg, on her inner thigh. What color was it? Green. Because I'm a dermatologist. I Can we get back to the issue yeah. of hand here, dude? Oh, God. You're right. January 10th, 2022, Shrek 4D is closing its doors to make way for an Imagine wait, Dragons theme wait, park. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Are they... This is a bad dream, man. This is... Are, are, are they doing this because we were just discussing Imagine Dragons? They might watch the show. I know a lot of Congress members watch the show, and they might have confused us talking about Imagine Dragons, thinking that, hey, let's get rid of Shrek 4D. Okay. Oh, my God. No, don't do that. Shrek 4D is where Jake had Gordo, where Fiona and Jake birthed their son Gordo. We renew our wedding vows there every fiscal quarter. A lot has happened there. A lot of good memories. A lot of uh, a lot of things. We try to go every couple months at least uh, to Shrek 4D, and it is a damn shame that they are closing their doors. And a huge. We got to get there. We might have to sh cut this short, man. If you... we got to get on the next flight out of here. Okay. Okay, guys. We're sorry to do this. We did get through a ton of Shrek today, uh, but we and. As well as all of you, we encourage you to go get your tickets to Shrek 4D. Tonight is the last night that we will be able to experience where Gordo was born and Shrek's enchanted swamp uh, in 4D. The yeah. smells, the touch, the, yeah. the, yeah, 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 the yeah, whole yeah. thing. Um, so go get your tickets. Uh, let's stop this right here. We have... Can, can you look up some... Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Mitch? Mitch? Uh, get on the tickets. No, you can't come. No. Tickets oh, for two. Well, Economy. Chives. And Chives, three. He can go in the carry-on. Yeah, yeah. Chives, you're coming with us, buddy. Go ahead and give us a thumbs up from under the table. Go on. Wake up. I won't bite you. I won't bite your thumb. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay. We're not buying you a ticket, so if they catch you, that's on you. That's on you. Okay. What's that? Nick? 1900 we gotta do it we gotta book it we gotta book it we gotta book it we gotta book it dude uh mitch you still have nen nen's card yeah. chives go get the card chives get nen -Nen's chives card. go get the card this isn't a drill Do you just swipe it on the iPad? I or? think so. you take a picture of it and send okay. it to the email. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, make sure those go through, Mitch. We need to be on the red eye tonight. We need to leave D. here. The way I see it, it's going to be seven hours to fly there. We could get there by 4 a.m. Hopefully that's not too late to, wait to in get line. in line. I know this is gonna, it's going to wrap around the block, man. There's a chance we might not even be able to get in. But at least we can be there and we can say that we when saw they, Shrek. When when they bring up the this, this this awful event in American history, probably one of the worst events to happen to mm -hmm. these great United States in the last 21, 22 years. I can't even believe it's real. I'm sitting here. Uh, it hasn't hit me yet. Grandpa, great, great Pep Pep, where were you when it happened? He said, we were there. We went down with the ship. We went down with the ship. We... In fact, let's get a community together. Email us at talkingshrek.com. Uh, bring your chains. We let's start a, a protest. Let's chain ourselves to the talking Shrek machine doll, giant talking uh, animatronic doll that is in the center of the park, mm -hmm. and we will not leave until they reverse what has happened 
uh, to Shrek 4D. And that's what I say. So if you're with us, please email TalkingShrek at gmail.com and let's save Talking Shrek 4D. Shrek 4D should be Talking Shrek 4D. Dude, we got to get the hell out of here, man. This is the only thing I am thinking. Um, we're so adamant on going to Shrek 4D, but Lord Farquaad, they took the Lord Farquaad out a long time ago. And you're thinking... Should we go stand in? Well, we could stand in, but I've been wanting to say this. I am not an alpha, Jake. I'm not what an alpha. What the hell are you talking about? I can't, I can't do it, man. As soon as I saw Shrek... Uh, in the fantastic clip that we just watched, I couldn't do it anymore. I hate Laura. Don't talk about. Don't don't do that to her. Don't bring her. What are you saying here? I can't be an alpha, Jake. I know you want me to be an alpha. You've earned your stripes. Look how far you've come. I want someone to bend me over and put a piggly wiggly at my. Ass. Jake, is that what alphas do? I got, no. some, I got something to tell you. What? This no. thing comes right off. No. No, you're an alpha, Jake. I was being the man you thought I was. And the truth is, my entire life is a lie. You, no. I felt that you needed this father figure in your life to rear you, to teach you, to mentor you. And I thought I could be that for you. If this is a difference between Julian's life and death, if it's a difference of him sleeping in my studio or not, I'll do what it takes. That's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Great quote. What if... Jake, I just want to tell you, I don't need you to be a father figure in my life. I need you to be a friend because the father in our lives is Shrek. I'm so sorry. You know what, dude? How far have we sunk, man? What? How far have we, how, how low have we fallen? I don't know. I think this is a lesson learned for everyone out there who got on this Lord Farquaad ship and, and sunk with us. Um, shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. For for thinking for a second that having a life of power and dominance and lies can sustain itself. What you need... I couldn't even last a few hours, man. Right. I think who we need to say sorry to the most is Chives. Chives, Chives? come up here, buddy. I think I think we owe you something. Just come here, bud. It's okay. Oh, Chives? Oh, it's okay. Come on, buddy. Hey, man. And I've been through the desert on a donkey that talks It felt good to be out of Duloc In the Duloc, you can't remember his name But his name is Shrek and he's not very lame